What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough, or just Moon walkthrough. I don't really care. It's Moon, and it's daytime right now. Anywho, in our last episode, we actually w completed our first uh, trial, and, uh, well, let's see. How do we work this thing? Uh, trainer passport. There we go. Okay, so we're taking a look at our trainer passport. As you can see, looking at Stud Muffin, we're looking pretty uh, studly and everything. Started on Cinco de Mayo. And, uh, yeah, we have not done anything except just become an official trainer now. Where? Let's see, I'm going to press the A button right here. And it, look at that. Studly. Anyway, I'm not going to do anything right now with that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we also want our very first uh, Z crystal, and that's the Normalium Z, I think. And now it is finally time for us to move on right here. Now, I did say that I was going to go off screen and just capture a bunch of Pokemon. Didn't have enough time for all that stuff because, uh, well... Bidness came up. Lots and lots of bidness came up. So, we're going to continue on right here in Route 3. It's going to take us where it takes us. And then after that, who knows? I might just capture some more Pokemon. I was thinking of capturing Zubat and a whole bunch of other Pokemon right here just to complete or just to start off my collection right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird Pokemon. What an adorable little pest they are. Now... Yeah, if you notice, there's something floating up above. It's kind of like the cave section where you see a shadow just move towards you and it happens to be a Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and have this guy attack us and see what it is. And bam. So as you can see, we are attacked by a Volibi right here. Now this is a very... Well, in most games, are they're very rare Pokemon. Level 11. I might just want to actually uh, use this for my collection. So here he comes with a gust attack. Yes, Yokozuna is a bad choice right here, but Force Palm will actually not paralyze it. So let's go ahead and give it one more Force Palm, see how it does, and well, here comes the gust attack. Now this could be a Pokemon that we could use for, you know, flying type purposes. We don't necessarily need any Pokemon to, to fly anymore because they do have uh, service Pokemon around here. And, well, look at that. We are growing our levels right now. Now, the other reason why I haven't done anything off screen is because I do have quite a few... Oh, hold on just a sec. Grab this. We grabbed ourselves a pretty wing. Okay, so that's a nice reward. So, like I was saying, guys, the um, reason I haven't done anything off screen is because I do have quite a few Pokemon that are on the, on the cusp of uh, evolving right here. So, do not want to miss out on that. I said maybe, maybe we, we, we should just continue on our adventure right here and then, you know, power up later on. So, let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here. Look at this. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads into victory. Okay. So, here it is, guys. Another Pokemon battle. Who are we taking on? Look at this. Rising Star Ian wants the battle and, well, let's like, see what he comes out. He comes out with a Psyduck. Now... I do kind of feel like a lot of the, the tropical Pokemon here from, like, the first two generations. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know. What do you guys think? So let's go straight for a Brick Break. Now, in our last episode, we won the whole thing because we had Brick Break. Yeah. Very, very good idea. Now, again, I'm going to have to say this every single time. Yes. Uh, the Pokemon you see on my team right now, they're not going to be the, the team members for the rest, of this, the rest of this, you know, walkthrough right here because, well... They're actually easy to get, but I do want to use some more native Pokemon right now. I'm just going with the flow, pressing that button. And, well, Budkiss is growing to level 11 right here. And we defeat Rising Star Ian. As you can see, we press the care button right here. And, well, our Pokemon is wet, so let's go straight right here. And what we need to do is get this Porygon Blow Dryer. And look at this. Oh, wow. I'm going to press this again. Porygon, help me out. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so he's happy. Now, I do have quite a few seeds or beans right there, sensu beans, but I'm not going to be using any, using them right now because I kind of need to actually grow some to expand the collection just a tad bit now. There is a grassy area right there. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Take a look. We found ourselves a heal ball, a nice Pokeball that heals a Pokemon right after you, uh, you capture him. And, well, here we are getting attacked by somebody, and, well... <laughs> Delibird. Now, my question is, how is Delibird even, like, how, okay, so, 
How is it even acclimating into a tropical area like Alola, since it is a an ice-type Pokemon? I just want to know. Comment down below, guys. Now, let's see. We are not skipping a lot of Pokemon trainers right here, but we are going to have to switch out Pokemon right now. So let's not do that. Press the Y button, and let's put... You know what? Let's put Puka into the mix right here. I haven't used it, and that is the wrong Pokemon to switch it. So let's go straight to Yokozuna. And let's go ahead and start battling some trainers. Okay, let's follow her right here. And she's like, do you have a preference about type of it moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? I like to mix and match. I like to make sure that my Pokemon have a nice variety of moves. And, well, here's Rising Star Tatiana. Coming with her Petalili. Petalili. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I really don't know. But I picked the wrong Pokemon right here, and it's Puka. So let's go ahead and not fight. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. We do have a Pokemon that can actually defeat it. Let's go straight for Butkus. This is the first time we're going to be seeing Butkus. Now, we are in danger of getting any kind of, like, status effects. But that's what happens when you switch out. And here comes a Mega Drain. And that takes... A little bit of our HP, but guess what? We do have the Ember Attack, so let's go straight ahead. Butkus, Ember Attack, does a good job right there. Here comes another Mega Drain. One thing I hate about Grass-type Pokemon, they just like to drain you. They like to status affect you in many different ways. So let's go straight for the Ember Attack right here again. And that nearly defeats it. So we got to hit it one more time. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's get it for an Amber Attack right here. And that right there defeats Petalil. So we're getting experience points from everybody. Puka grows to level 15. And, well, look at that, Tatiana. He, she is not happy right now. Okay, let us move on. Let's do something about this. Now, we, we skipped this part, portion right here. Now, the good thing is that we can actually see where we're going. You know what? Let's see what Pokemon is going to attack us. Don't worry. We got Puka. Puka will save us right here. And would you look at that. It's a Spiro. Now, I'm kind of wondering. Do the Spiro? Did the Spiro get killed? I kind of feel like that's what happened when they when they messed with the Tapu Koko. I want to know. And look at this. Thundershock nearly does it. Here comes a Leer attack. You know what? I'm just going to defeat this Pokemon right here. And, oh, okay. So here is a new mechanic uh, in the game that we f that I forgot to mention. And that is that Spearow likes to, or any kind of Pokemon in the Alola region, like to, uh, what was it, call for help. Now, we didn't get to see this in, uh, what was it, in the in the uh, Totem Battle right here. Because we actually, got, we actually defeated him before the Totem Pokemon came out. And right now, this is, uh, oh, crap. Okay, so right now we're getting our butts kicked, and uh, Puka has just been, yeah, it's been mauled by two Spearows right here. So, let's go straight ahead and move to Joker, and I think I do have a revive, so let's go right ahead and revive that Puka. We need that experience point, so we're not going to, we're not going to take an L right here, uh-uh. My Pokemon are going to succeed, and let's go straight for a revive, and now the thing is, these Pokemon can actually call for support at any point in time. And they can do it multiple times. Now, just be aware of what Pokemon, uh, you know, call for help. It might be, you know, it might be Pokemon of the same kind. Or, hell, it might even... What the f... Come on, man! It might be the same Pokemon. Or, it might be a mortal enemy Pokemon. Now, I'm going to use an Aqua Jet just to smack these guys around. Because I'm getting a little sick and tired of getting hit by these guys. So, there we go. Spearow has been defeated. That's one. Puka's growing levels, and here comes a, uh, a Leer attack. And, well, wow. As you can see, Spiro is calling for help again, and nobody appeared. So, let's go right ahead and defeat this guy, because, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not... We're not going to, uh, yeah, we're not going to experience another loss right here. So, here we go. Spiro has been defeated and that is two battles in one right there. Joker grows to level 17. And Puka grows more levels. Or no, not grows more levels. Experience points right there. And just like that, 
Joker is the first one to evolve. So let, like I said, guys, I didn't want to do anything off screen because of this whole evolution part. Luckily, I didn't do anything. So look at this. The evolution graphics right here is pretty awesome. Holy crap. So Joker has evolved into Brion. A pretty good looking Pokemon right here. Kind of looks like a prima donna and all that stuff. So here it is, Brion, the well, another. Well, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. But look at this, Joker has been evolving, and it's another Pokemon in the Mele Mele area. And as you can see, it is the pop star Pokemon. It cares deeply for its companions. When its trainer is feeling down, it performs a cheery dance to try and help. Yeah, that's the reason why I picked it. I think that's what it is. Okay, so. That's another Pokemon that we got, and well, we have got to heal up our Pokemon because we, we, yeah, we've been battling. And this, this, this episode is about, holy crud, it's about, you know, progressing in this whole thing. Battling other people, not Pokemon. But you guys get the mechanics. And, well, let's see. There is an item right here that we can grab, and look at this. We found ourselves a sharp beak. A nice item to power up any kind of uh, flying type Pokemon, and we've already defeated that. So, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here before we get attacked. Oh, God. So, there it is. We're getting attacked by another Pokemon, and it's another God dang Spiro. Now, I have seen videos to where these Pokemon actually call out for help, and the Pokemon that, you know, they call out for help turn out to be a shiny Pokemon. So this is actually, you know, I guess a good way to actually call out for shiny Pokemon. When I was playing Pokemon Sun, I think I had, uh, I think I got three. Yeah, I think I got three shiny Pokemon. A golden, a golden Magikarp, no joke. Uh, what's the pre evolve form for Mudsdale? I think that's what it is, Mudsdale. I gotta check it out, guys. I think I have some shiny Pokemon. I will feature them right here. We'll take them and all that stuff. So, let's see. Here is the Mele Mele Meadow. This is exactly where we need to be. In paradise where the o Oricorio dance. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here, guys. I'll be right back in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Being, a, being an adult, being responsible takes a lot of work. So, anywho, here we are in the Mele Mele Meadow. And, well, I guess this is the next place where we have to be, right? I think. I don't know. But here is Melly Melly Meadow. And, uh, well, there is a little bit of something right here. As you can see, well, hello there. Our shy but beautiful girlfriend right here is looking out in the meadow. And she's like, Nevi, Nevi, come back. Ah, Draven. Nevi ran, uh, ran off into the meadow here. Hmm, look at that. There it is. It's, uh, it's, it's actually admiring the flowers and everything else in between and well she is like and right after I got into so much trouble on the bridge too what if a wild Pokemon attacks it it doesn't have any moves it can use to battle you'd be surprised and well as you can see you know Rotom is actually telling us what to do right here so uh, yeah let's go right ahead and save our girlfriend's Nebby right here now we all know what kind of Pokemon it is its name is Sm uh, Cosmog it's a very le it's actually a legendary Pokemon that can can evolve into one of two Pokemon. Uh, eventually, you will see what two Pokemon it will evolve into. Now, here we are in the Mele Mele Meadow, where you can actually find some interesting Pokemon. I think one of them happens to be the the Oricorio, I think. So let's go right ahead and dive into this place. And well, who's next to get attacked and destroyed? Look at the beautiful flowers and look at this Oricorio. Looking like a cheerleader now. This is a very interesting Pokemon right here because there are quite a few different kinds of this uh, Pokemon right here, and it all depends on uh, the 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 color of the uh, the flowers. Now, as you can see, it is not exactly a f well, it's not exactly a flying type Pokemon. So let's go straight for Dump Truck right here. See if uh, you know, see if Dump Truck can actually hold this Pokemon off right here now. Well, Ricorio is looking all, all dancey and all that stuff. Here's its growl attack. Look at that. It's yelling at us. Holy crud. Okay. And because of that, it is calling for help. Oh, Jeebus. And it is... An, well, nothing appeared. Nothing appeared. But you know what? I am going to run away because... Oh, crud. Okay, so... 
Yeah. This Pokemon calling for help again is not going to help me. And good gravy. Come on, just leave me alone. Goddamn Oricorio. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so... We're taking an ass whooping right now. And finally, okay, so we need to get more... Like, we need to get faster Pokemon. This is the reason why, you know, I'm saying... Not all of these Pokemon are going to stay here on my team. And, well, here we found ourselves a netball. And now that we know what we're facing, let's go right ahead and... Let's actually go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Budkiss. If this Pokemon is actually a grass type, which I kind of have a feeling it is, then we'll be okay. Now, don't... Like, again, this is like my third time playing this game. Don't necessarily know, but as you can see, we found ourselves a Petalil. A very good Pokemon to actually try and capture right here. And, well, I'm going to try and capture it right here. It is a good Grass-type Pokemon. And, oh crud, couldn't move. So, here we go again, another Bite Attack. Look at this. Trying to weaken this Pokemon off. And, oh god, it is calling for help. What is it going to do? And nobody appears to actually help this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and you know what? Let's throw a Pokeball right here. Now I, I do want to capture this Pokemon. So let's see. Hmm. Let's go with the Heal Ball right here. We have two of them. Kind of want to be diverse with the kind of Pokeballs I get. So there it is. Stay in the ball. Come on. You will be healed all automatically. There's love in this team. And look at that. We have captured a Petalil, a nice Pokemon for the team, and well, look at that. Yokozuna grows to level 16, and he wants to learn Whirlwind. I am going to have to decline on that one right there, and no, keep the old moves. And let's go ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon that we got, Petalil. Now, here it is, bam, Petalil. Petalil. Look at that. Okay. So it is a grass type Pokemon, the bull Pokemon. By pruning the leaves on its head with regularity, this Pokemon can be grown into a fine plump shape. It's a nice Pokemon. And well, let's go ahead and not give it a nickname for right now. Let's just keep it into the PC. It's a very nice Pokemon. I, I, I am thinking of using it at some point, but not right now. And yes, we are getting attacked by Pokemon up the you know what. Probably would have been a great idea for me to actually get a, a, a what you call repels. Now here's another Pokemon, a Cutie Fly. I think it's a grass or grass and fairy type. It's probably one of the same. And Jeebus Criminy. Okay, so yeah, we 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 are we are slow AF right here. And come on, let me go. Oh my God. See, this is the reason to why these Pokemon Sun and Moon games are. A little, or the videos are coming a little longer than usual because, good God, probably picked the wrong team. Well, not the wrong team, but, jeez, we got some slow Pokemon right now. Except for uh, Ultra Psycho right now, and uh, you know what? Screw it. We need to use a Repel, and we do. We do have a Repel right here. Look at this. We got two of these guys. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's not mess around with these Pokemon. Good gravy! Okay. Look at that. Another Petalil. And... Oh, God. Yeah. Just my luck. It's at level 12, so I'm probably going to have to put in a Pokemon that's a little bit faster and a little stronger. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out these Pokemon right here. Now, there's one dynamic that I do not like. It is that we have to press the Y button to actually switch these Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Joker, because it is my strongest Pokemon right now. And there is a hole right here. Now, if you press the A button right here, you can actually go towards a cave, which is a Seaward Cave. And here we found ourselves an escape rope. And, well, what else can we find around this area? More items? Yes, we are going to find a lot more items, like another heal ball. Could be useful. And... Well, unfortunately for us right now, we cannot swim, and like I said, uh, the HM moves here in Pokemon Sun and Moon, they are null and void. Now you can actually use service Pokemon, which we kind of don't have right now, and yeah, we're going to have to use another repel. Okay, so I'm looking around right here, and so far, 
I think we're going to be running out of uh, repels pretty soon here. And here we found ourselves a Never Melt Ice. A nice item for a nice type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Look at this. Found ourselves a Super Potion. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to be looking at everything. And, well, there goes our repels. Now we're SOL. Holy crud. Yeah, we kind of did this to ourselves right here. So, let's see. We got ourselves a Zubat attacking us. And, well, I did say I was going to try and capture a Zubat. Let's go ahead and try and do that right now with an Aqua Jet. Look at this. Makes us faster than the guy. And it, it's a critical hit. And this guy knows Absorb. And Okay, all right. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, crud, oh, crud, oh, crud. Please do not help the Zubat. Come on. Crap baskets. Okay, so when they ask for help, that usually means that you cannot capture the the other Pokemon or the Pokemon that you just attacked. So what's going to happen is we're going to have to make this guy faint. There we go. And we're going to have to try and capture the female Zubat right here. Okay, so here comes an Astonish attack. And that does not work very well. Okay, so let's go ahead and straight up Aqua Jet this guy. Now, again, I could be skipping all these battles. But I kind of don't want to, mainly because there are a lot of Pokemon right here in this game that I do want to just capture, guys. It's just a lot. And, oh god. Here comes a Zubat. Again, come on. Do not help this guy. Good gravy. Okay. Alright, so nobody came to help it. Should capture it right now. And we do have a, quite a few Great Balls, so let's go ahead and capture this guy with a Great Ball. So there we go. Stand the goddamn ball. Come on. Come on. And yes. Look at that. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out a peace sign. Holy crud. Okay, so there we go. We grabbed ourselves a quite a few experience points, but Kiss Grows level 12 and it wants to learn Helping Hand. And. Well, no, I don't need it right now, so. No. And uh, what else? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our good old buddy Zubat. Look at this. Zubat, and it's a uh, register to the Pokedex. And, well, what does it say right here? The Bat Pokemon, when exposed to sunlight, they suffer burns. The frequency of their ultrasonic waves can differ slightly from the colony to colony. And we already know what we're going to nickname this guy, so let's go ahead and just uh, bequeath it. It's a uh, nickname right here. So I bequeath to you your usual nickname. Uh, say hello again to Toxic Batman. It has been a while, Toxic Batman. And I know we've been using you for a lot of walkthroughs and all that stuff, but you know... You are a very useful Pokemon when it when it when it matters. Toxie Batman. Alrighty, let's go ahead and press that start button right there. Now, let's see. Should I replace? Let's go ahead and add it to the team right here. Let's see. Who should I replace? I could replace Dumb Truck, but I kind of don't want to. So the odd man ad is probably gonna have to be Yokozuna for right now. Don't think that we need it. So we're going to take the quick claw, and we replaced we replaced it with Toxic Batman now. Let's go ahead and take a look what's around here. So here we are in uh, Kela A Bay, and right now we can't swim, so we're just going to be grabbing items. Try, we still need to get Cosmoc around here, and well, that's pretty much it right there. And well, let's see. There's probably another section right here that we haven't taking a look at and yes we are gonna get attacked by Pokemon cuz good old Draven forgot about the repels and here we have another Tonks of Batman or you know Zubat and well that is not going to happen yes we got away safely thanks to our five our five level difference right there so let's see nothing right there looking at we found ourselves a star piece that we can actually use to to sell and I think that's pretty much it again we're gonna get we're gonna get attacked by a lot of Pokemon so we're just gonna have to deal with it for right now and well let's see let's see let's see now I did say that I was going to bring over some shiny Pokemon that I captured in, in my Pokemon Sun game uh, hopefully that will be like later on 
One of them is a golden magic carp. Now that right there was just a, you know, at a random, did not use any cheats or anything like that. But what I've noticed in Pokemon Sun and Moon is that, you know, finding shiny Pokemon are a little bit easier than most games. I think I've found like about three shiny Pokemon. No joke, guys. Three shiny Pokemon. And eventually I'll get to I'll get to show you guys what, what I found in Sun, so let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's get the heck back in here into the proper place we were supposed to go, into the Milli Milli Meadow, and get attacked by other Pokemon because you know, that that should be fun. And here we found ourselves a cutie fly, another Pokemon that will eventually capture. It is a fairy type Pokemon, I believe, so let's just get the heck out of here. We don't want none of that. None of it. Nothing. Okay, alrighty. So let's go. God dang it! You see, repels. We need repels. We're gonna get repels after this episode. Look at that. Pedalel. Hello, how's it going? Don't need you. Let's go with Joker. Yeah, we're gonna have to. You know, if this keeps on going on, I'm just gonna have to edit. Kind of sounds like I'm going to have to edit, so let's move on right here. As you can see, there is a trainer, and well, let's go ahead and switch out. Again, I'm still used to just like just selecting it and all that crud, so let's go ahead and press that. Press a Y, go to Bunkus, and bam, okay, so we're back at it again, and my girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she's the type that, who can't uh, help wandering off when she spots something interesting. My girlfriend does the same thing. She's right here in front of the meadow, and... Well, here's another Oricorio. Yeah, you gotta love these uh, Pokemon. Coming out uh, faster than usual. So, let's get the heck out of here. Are you serious? Man, I'm getting really irritated about this, so let's go ahead and run away. Yes. Good gravy. Good gravy. Okay, so that's another Oricorio. Now, here we are in front of Cosmog. Press the A button and pew! It notices us. So we took it back to our girlfriend. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Oh, you! Pew! Thank you, Draven. And I would like, or I would, uh, I should thank Growlithe, or I should thank Growlithe too. Here, let me at least do this. Oh, look at that. She's healing us. That That's good. Okay, so that's what we needed. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems that Pokemon called Oricorio change, uh, or changes appearances by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was... Anyway, well... Pew! Okay, alright. Back into the bag, please, man, Nebby. I know that I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but it's hardly it's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should get going now. The professor will probably be worried after we, the way we just disappeared on him. Okay, all right. So here we are coming outside of the Milli Milli Meadow, and well, our good old buddy How right here is like, hey, Draven. Oh, and it's Lily with you too. What are you two up to, How? Or what are you up to, How? Just finished my trial. <laughs> hey, Draven. I want to see if I if I really learn anything from my uh, trial. Let's battle you again. And just like that, we're into another Pokemon battle. I I did not know this was gonna happen, but okay. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. He has a full team, or he has two Pokemon. I I got a full team right here. So let's go straight for Budkiss. Let's go. Can you believe that? I already have a full team. A full goddamn team, and well, here he's coming out with his Pikachu and his Electro Ball. So right now it's already kicking my butt. So here we go, Ember attack doesn't do much. So let's go again with another Ember, and here comes another Electro Ball from this Pikachu. And well, here we go. That right there. Like I think we already know who's gonna win this one right here. So here comes Electro Ball. <sighs> Yes, I am uh, I am starting to figure out that this is not going to be easy. So let's go straight for Dump Truck. We all know that Pikachu right here is not that physical. So Dump Truck should handle this guy. So let's go straight for the Bite Attack and hopefully not get paralyzed. But here comes a Quick Attack. Not so strong right there. So here we go, Bite Attack. 
And just like that, Pikachu faints. Oh, yes, Dump Trunk showing its muscles right there. Look at this. Level 14, and yes, we've gained. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 15, which is great, too. So here he's going to come out with a Litten. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go back to Joker, and let's go ahead and show how how it's done. Hey, right, hey, right, you see you see what I did right there? Made a little bit of a pun. So there we go. Litten looking a little crazy as always. So let's go with an Aqua Jet. And Aqua Jet does. Oh, nearly beats it. Ah, oh, crud. This Pokemon's uh, pretty strong right here. So let's go ahead do it one more time. Aqua Jet for the win. And bam. How does it feel to fail? Not so good. Alrighty, okay. So there you have it, guys. Puka grows to level 16. And everybody else in between gets their experience points. And it looks like to me that we're still above this guy. And, well, let's see what ends up happening. He's like, so you so you and me both beat the totem Pokemon, huh, Draven? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, Draven. I knew I could count on you, yeah? Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this, then? How oh, you finished your first trial, too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> right. Helen's probably rubbing his hands together in a glee to right, right about now. Oh, yeah! What, what, what do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle the island's kahuna. Taking on the uh, island kahuna is, uh, in the battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than uh, the chance to see more fierce Pokemon battles. Whew! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on back to Icky Town. Catch the Tailwind Blast through Route 3. Okay, alright, so we're going to be going straight to Route 3. We're going to pause right here, guys. It's, uh, yeah, half hour and all that stuff. This is why we're doing this daily and all that crud. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.